Hey folks, it's Tutorial Tuesday and we're back for the final installment of doing macro shots. Don't worry, today we're not going to get any water on your phone. We're going to do it with some cool things like a DSLR camera, if you have one. And if you don't, you might be able to find one of these suckers lying around the house. Let's get started. Okay, as always, first thing we need to do is we need to get our phone and we need to get it on and we need to get it into photo mode. Today we're going to take a photo of uh, just, I had a $10 bill kind of hanging around. So um, let's again show you how close we can get, put you into the phone here before, uh, sorry, see how close you can get before it gets um, out of focus and you can see roughly about there. So again, just like last time, we got about a three inch sort of gap between the subject matter and the phone. Step number one is to grab your handy dandy magnifying glass. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it up to the camera and you can see how much closer you can get. And if you move your camera away, you might be able to play with it a little bit and see how close you can actually get. You can kind of see how I'm in and out Right about there looks about close focus as we're going to be able to get. So we got to be able to do better than that. There we go. Somewhere in there we go. So the key is to get into the close focus range and then move the magnifying glass around. Play with it. When you're done with your shot, once you finish taking it, if you happen to have any of the frame and magnifying glass and just crop your photo in a little bit and get rid of that kind of stuff. My magnifying glass isn't, doesn't go super close. So uh, play with it. The second one that I wanted to show you is if you do have a DSLR camera or a film camera of any kind that has an interchangeable lens, you can actually pop the lens off and usually the front element goes out, the rear element goes back towards either the the camera sensor or the film plane. But one of the cool things you can do is if you can flip it around and have the front element towards your camera. In my case, I got to open up this little slider here, aperture slider. And again, that's how close we can get roughly, right? But if I put the camera lens in front, sorry, I need a, I need a third arm. Let's get this here. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay, get it in front of my camera lens. I'm gonna have to stand up again. And it's kind of a tunneling effect. It's pretty cool. Look at that. You get all kinds of different lights from the uh, overhead light. And I can get pretty close to good old Sir John A. McDonald's face there. Kind of play with it a little bit. There we go. Ooh, it's kind of eerie. It looks like a moon. Who knows what you might be able to use or find in your house. Give it a go. Stick something in front of the lens. Ultimately, that's what you want to do. Something in front of this lens and your subject to create some sort of magnification. As always, whenever you uh, do take a shot, stick it down in the comment section below so we can see. That's it for this week. Signing off. We'll see you next.